And you can hold a very heavy object like that because the buoyant force helps you to support it. So the true apparent weight you feel from your hand is much smaller than the true weight of the object. Okay? Here we have a problem about the apparent weight. Let's look at it. A sample of an unknown material appears to weigh 400 in air and 200 uh, when immersed in water. What is the volume of the material and what is the density of the material? When, when you find the density of the material, to directly calculate the density of the material, we have to weigh the object and measure the volume. Okay. In, but the volume is usually difficult to measure. Uh, it may not be a regular shape. Okay. So instead of to measure the uh, volume directly, uh, you can measure the true weight and the apparent weight and try to calculate the density and volume and then find the density. So here, weigh 400 in air. So this is uh, true weight. Right? In the air, it's a true age. And 200 Newton in water. So this is apparent weight in water. Okay. So according to our equation, the true weight, oh, apparent weight, should be the true weight subtract the buoyant force, right? So here, 400, uh, 200 equals to 400. Subtract the buoyant force. Buoyant force should be the density of the fluid multiplied by the uh, volume, okay, multiply by g. And you can see, we can calculate the volume from this equation, if you know the apparent weight and true weight, because the, the density of the water is actually known, okay, it's, uh, what's the density of the water? Uh, in standard units, it's a uh, uh, kilogram meter cube. Is it to the power three or six? Three. Three in the standard unit. Do I have that number listed there or? Okay. If you have the textbook, you can take a look of the uh, constant table. You have that. Um, so, and G is gravitational constant. Let's take 10 here. So, 200 equals to 400 minus 1000 <coughs> V times 10. Okay. Uh, so, V equals to. <coughs> So 200 equals to 0 0.02 meter cube. Okay, so that's a volume. And then the density the density of the material, the okay, object, should be the volume mass of the object divided by the volume. We just calculate the volume here, right? And how do we calculate the mass? We already know the true weight and 
Mass should be the true weight, 400 divided by 10, okay, the gravitational constant, so 40 kilograms. We can be very approximately use 10 for mean state of 90. So it's uh, 40 divided by the 0 0.02. Okay. So it's uh, 2,000 kilograms. No. So it's double of the water density. It's understandable, okay, because the Apparent weight is half of the true weight. Any question here? Okay, but these numbers depend on <coughs> the assumption that I got the water density correct. Yeah, you did. Okay. What happened to the 400? Yeah, you got about it. The 400. <coughs> Dr. Lewis, there's a 400 for the, uh, for the weight that you. Uh, Third line up. Just the yeah, it still comes out with the same answer though. Okay, so if you subtract 400, you would get negative 200. Yes, I mean, yes, this is 400, it's 200, right? And then I subtract it, I get 200. I already did the subtraction. And then I uh, get rid of the negative sign. Well.